There's a new there's a new nukes top five if you're feeling brave. How scary is it? What am I gonna do this time? Oh my god, it's gonna make me cry like a little baby. <laughs> oh, but I don't wanna. Okay, fine, but only a few tears. Once I start crying like a little baby, I'm gonna stop. I'm not gonna keep pushing myself. Bucksgrave Road. Friends David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs hey, and Signals are driving down a creepy back road called Bucksgrave Road in Carlisle, South Carolina. While driving down the narrow dirt road shooting some b-roll for their video in the car, they experience something absolutely unnerving. Oh god, anything can happen in these woods. Fuck. Is there something? Oh, oh my God! What the? It's a a flash, a flashlight. Oh shit! What? Wait, what? What do you mean he's not supposed to be out here? It's the woods. <laughs> Why can't he be out here? This is the fucking. Do you own these woods? Who are you to tell him? What are you, the hall monitor? I. Hey, I'm on that guy's team. Where? Where's the headlamp at? The headlamp should be a, right there. Like he didn't like he stopped. Did he turn off the light? Yeah, that's probably exactly Can what you he see did. In there? No, I can't see. I'm <laughs> zoomed in. I can't hardly really see. <laughs> zoom in, don't zoom in, don't zoom in. It ain't gonna help. It ain't gonna help. Uh, okay, this isn't good. It's the headlamp. Evil spirit. The content play. <laughs> what the. F Oh my god, don't don't sacrifice yourself. He'll still be hungry. You can't appease him. Hello? Oh god. Get back in the car. Do you think he's making noises like a Pokemon? This ain't even what we're supposed to be here for. Dude, I couldn't hear or see anything out there. It's so pitch black. Damn. That's Yeah, it sounds about right. No, it's the flashlight guy! Go, 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 go! Holy shit! To this day, David and Dell say that they have no idea who or what the creepy stranger could have been. What do you mean, what? Why do we always have to say in who or what? It's clearly a man, so it's, it's just a who. Neighborhood well, I'm not crying lunch. yet. Sarah Marie and her husband Bobby are having an afternoon get together with some friends at their home in Florida. A when likely story. They spot something very odd at the neighbor's house. I bet they were actually the playing with a Ouija board. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! A man lives in that house. There's nobody at all. Nobody. I didn't know they could be that visible. Nah. Yeah. Stand back. <laughs> there's a there's a homeowner in there. Freaking out everyone. And Though, to be fair, that guy's fast. That guy's fast as fuck. You see that? Jesus Christ, that man was scooting. <laughs> Jesus. Shidoro plans to spend the night to investigate. So Shidoro Don't do it. Up a few static cameras it's not worth it. And voice activated oh, God, not the talking dog. But oh, God. The investigation, the motion sensing Demons hate that. Demons hate that. Sounds like an alarm. It's trying to tell you something. Get out! You're not welcome. The ghost is allergic to dogs. Here's a resub Sierra. A little shaken up, Shiro resets the toy dog and continues to investigate. What happens next is absolutely terrifying. I'll be the judge of that. He was right. Good God. It's not worth it. Please don't go in. Is the ghost hiding inside of that little box? Oh my God, he is. Oh, good Lord. It's a, it's a post PO box. Devil. Oh. That wasn't a man, my friend. 
that was a boy. Who would soon grow into a man if we don't stop him now. <laughs> oh, luckily the light's on. No ghost is powerful enough to survive in the light. Like, look, look at the size of that coat. That's like a fucking quadruple XL. Like, this guy's eight feet tall. Ain't nobody beating his ass. Yeah, it's fucking Hagrid here. No shot. This is the ghost of the guy who got beat in the hotel. This is scaring the piss out of me. Five videos so scary you're gonna be pissing like a little baby. Bring it back. I want to see the ghost again. It's not the curtain. This is a spawn from hell. Are you even watching? I don't like when people have fun. This is supposed to be a serious investigation. Oh, get out of there. You're not safe. Look at what it can do. Beat its ass. Don't be a hero. I actually thought this was the ghost over here. I forgot there was two of them. Especially since it would require a great deal of force on the bed. So could this be paranormal evidence that the Cumberland Gap Inn is haunted? Mm-hmm. You decide. I have decided. Garden I think that was pretty Angel. conclusive. Who are you talking to? No, this is this one's just making me sad. Jesus Christ. Some have even made wild claims that certain Masonic rites and ceremonies include a sacrifice. Yep. The Cleveland Masonic they do. Temple shut down in 1969 and has been left to rot for over 50 years. Chris attempts I'll to never understand that. I feel like someone owns that building. What's the point in letting it get like that? You still own it. Like, why the fuck just let it be a pile of shit? Fix it up even just a little bit and sell it. Expensive? Yeah, but I mean, it was expensive to own the building in the first place. Oh god, he joins the Freemasons. Oh god. They indoctrinate him through catalogs and flyers. Touched me, I swear to God. I swear to God, I feel like someone just touched my back. I don't know if it was my book bag flopped. Yo, that scared the out of me. I get that you're scared. Can you stop telling me? Okay. All right, can you just show me the ghost? How about that? Huh? That's what I'm here for. Chris says he feels Not like your fear. Is I want to be afraid. Back. But there's like a little baby, there. apparently. After collecting himself, he continues to scout through the abandoned building. And this is when things get weird. This building's yucky. Well, now look what you've done. Well, go open it. Why are ghosts only active at night? That's a good point. Let's let's assume ghosts are real. Why the fuck would it matter if it's nighttime or not if they're already existing in a different plane? Like they wouldn't even be affected by the time of day. <laughs> like at all, it wouldn't matter. Oh yeah, maybe when you become a ghost you also become a vampire. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, I feel like haunting these giant pieces of shit is such a worthless place to be. Is it prime poly? Who's in there? Making a ruckus. You goddamn vandal. Show yourself so I can arrest you. Did you see it? Right before the door slams shut, a creepy face can be seen quickly moving back behind oh the door. Oh my god! When Chris opens it, it's clear that there would have been no room for anyone to stand there behind the door. And the room what? is empty. Par pardon? <laughs> there wouldn't have been room to stand behind the door. What? It, yeah. What, in tarnation? <laughs> Wait just a patty flipping minute. 
What are you talking about? There's there's ample room. He's just closing a door. But fair enough, I guess. That's not Jigsaw. It's one of the band members of Pierce the Veil. And he captures something truly bizarre. This time the spirit's playing the drums. And he's very good. And it just so happens that Chris works at a record label. I do not remember closing his door. Hold up. It's when I left this. Oh my god, now it won't open. Hello, Chris. Goes to check it out. Things take a terrifying turn. I'll be the judge of that. Jesus Christ. It's his wife cheating. That would be a terrifying turn. Oh boy, everything's Over here's popping off. From the glass back door. But as he looks, he spots some dark figure moving behind him in the reflection. He spins around, but there's no one there. He turns back toward the door, and the figure- Do you know nothing about lingering spirits, you swine? You never see ghosts haunting someplace mundane like a McDonald's or Jiffy Lube. Why are these motherfucking ghosts always out living in the squ squalor? Interesting- I've actually- I don't think I've seen the word squalor in 20 years. Interesting word choice. But they do, in fact, haunt McDonald's and Jiffy Lube ex especially. That's one of the most haunted franchises on the planet. It just shows how much you know. Type in Jiffy Lube Ghost and see what happens. You may never come back. Even just searching that up is enough to have your soul sealed away forever. Are you saying, you, are you, is that, was that a question? Are you asking if I believe in ghosts? I'm a man of science, so obviously I believe in ghosts. How many times do you have to prove they exist? Hmm? How many times? We've already seen five of them in this video alone. All three of the ghost hunters are recording. All at the same time. Now Josh hasn't been here, so he's gonna go in first this time. Good luck, Josh. Look, guys. You're watching yourselves. Hey. Hey, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Hey, oh god. Not long oh, into the investigation. This is the new box. You probably saw it in the last video. I don't have a name for it, but it can buy I love these gadgets, by the way. Hats off to the, the team that makes these paranormal hunting gadgets. This one's especially cute. They've got, like, little purple antennas on it. This one's nice. Josh, who's outside on the porch, eventually decides to go back inside after hearing some strange noises. And he also captures, well, just watch closely. Oh, he gets his boombox hacked? There's none out here. It's a cyber it ghost? Right here. There's nobody out here, except for Tim. He's down at the end of the yard. Sounds like a pterodactyl or something. It's a prehistoric haunting. Nate Ratterman and his wife Kaylee own and manage what has been voted one of the most haunted museums in the world. Oh. The Museum of Shadows, located in Omaha, Nebraska. The spooky museum showcases over 3,000 allegedly haunted artifacts, including a few very creepy dolls. <laughs> with even creepier stories. I love that. One of these are It has allegedly haunted items, meaning you could just send like anything. Eh, I don't really have room in my house anymore for this doll, but I don't want to throw it out either. I'll just make up a story and send it over. That's so sweet though. 